What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me My name is Jessica. I'm a mother as well as a makeup lover, of course, and welcome to my very first video of 2022, baby. Hi, how you doing? Um, as you guys can see by this title, we are going to be uh, playing around with the new Ace Beauty Floral Vintage Palette um, So I actually did purchase this from the Box Charm add-on before it was even available And I never really did a video with it because I didn't know if they were going to release it I didn't want to do a tutorial with the palette that you guys couldn't get your hands on So what I wanted to do um, since they were releasing a limited quantity a limited quantity of these palettes I really wanted to play around with it that way uh, first of all just have some tutorials out there in case anybody gets this palette and they you know need some inspo and then also um, just to review it because it is stunning okay and it's one of the more bigger palettes that I have from Ace Beauty so um, this is the packaging and then this is what the inside looks like so I played more with like the peach tone, a couple of the browns, the black. Um, I didn't really play with too, too many of the colors today, but um, I am going to swatch a few of the shades for you. I think I'm just going to swatch, um, I'll swatch like a couple of mattes and then I'll just swatch like three or four shimmers. I don't really like to do like full swatches because I suck at doing swatches, okay? So I'm going to swatch for sure this shimmer. This one, and let's do this one. My kids are fucking shit up upstairs. We're gonna ignore all the toys getting dumped out right now. So this is the shade Marigold. Oh my God, that is so loud. My kids are so loud. Cherry Blossom. Oh, okay. And then um, Golden Orchid. Oh, that one just kept on going, baby. The Reflect in that one, the Reflect in all of these is insane look at that just, they just went like forever my kids are dumping out all their toys and it's so loud i'm so sorry so i did play with this shade today otherwise i would have swatched this one um this one's purple so i'm gonna swatch the purple i'm gonna swatch the green and i think i will swatch hmm Let's see we'll do we'll do the purple the red or like this is like a burgundy and then the green because we keep it fun this is the purple Ooh, not a great swatch but that's okay this is a shade button push good swatch okay and then the shade tansy okay pretty pretty good swatches that purple didn't swatch too great let me try to layer it up see if that helps Ooh, girl I don't know about that purple one. I'm going to have to play with that and see how it performs on my eyes before I give my opinion on that shade. But the other one swatched really, really well. Look, Christmas colors. Good one. So I am going to um, only be doing my eyes in today's video because I really wanted to keep um, this really centered on the palette. Um, but I will leave all of my face products in the description box down below if you're curious to see what I use on my face. Um, and then always at the end, I kind of tell you guys my eyelashes and my lip combo. If you're curious about that, definitely stay tuned to the end. And I also do a, if you're new here, if you've never watched any of my videos before, at the end of all of my tutorials, I will do a very up close video of my eye look. So you could really see how it would look like in person. Like if you were to jump through the screen and look at me, that is exactly how my makeup looks. Um, I actually get really like excited when I see like the up close video because those blending skills, baby. Mm, we don't come to play when we come to blend, okay? If you're curious to see the Ace Beauty Vintage Floral Palette in action and you want to see my thoughts and opinion, definitely keep on watching. I'm, I think I'm going to start by taking this shade right here, which is called Black Hyacinth. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this shade right here. Um, I did already prime my lids, and I actually have been taking the time to pat my base in with, like, a brush. Like, so this is the one of the P. Louise Mirror Mirror brushes. Um, and I find that it's been creasing a lot less when I actually take the time to pat the base out instead of being a lazy ass bitch like I am. I'm going to take this Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to pick up some of this pigment. Now I'm thinking to do, uh, kind of just like flared out. 
I haven't done a look like that in a long time. So let's see. I'm gonna try to keep this black kind of low. Let's see. I thought this was a dark brown, but it's literally black. So. It looks like a bl like black, but with like a purple undertone. It looks probably looks black on camera, but I think it kind of has like a purpley undertone to the black. So the trick to make sure it'll flare out is you gotta make sure it connects from here and then goes whoop up. And then everything else will just kind of connect. I think that looks really good. Let me do the other eyeball, make it match. Okay, so you'll notice too that I didn't take it like all the way in because I wanna keep that kind of a little bit lighter. I don't want I don't want it to like be super pigmented all the way to my nose, you know what I mean? Next, I'm gonna take this dark brown shade, which is called Day Lilies. And I'm going to take this on a P. Louise, what is this, number 117 brush. So it's a very tiny brush. I just want to use this small fluffy brush so I can really start buffing this out. So I'm just going to start doing little circles right on and around that first shade that I used. I'm not going to take this too high up because I have some other colors that I want to go in with as well. So, so I'm using a real small brush so I can really keep it nice and tight to the first shade. So I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Begonia, which is like the peach color, which is going to be the star of today's show, baby. And I'm going to take this one on a Luxie 231 brush. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do little circle motions right over that second shade. Really bring some color to this look. I'm gonna take a clean, super fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go directly over that shade to kind of just soften it and blend, blend it out a bit. Cause now I'm gonna go through all of my colors again. So I'm gonna need a little bit of space to make sure that it's not like, I don't know how to explain it. How do I explain that? So like when you blend, your colors are gradually like going up so if this is too far up already, it's going to be like blended all the way into my eyebrows. So I'm just kind of softening it so that way there's a little bit of room to blend still. So I'm going to go through all these colors again and you'll kind of see what I mean. shades and a little bit of a buffer shade so I'm actually gonna take this one right here which is called tropical tropical hibiscus okay so I'm gonna take that shade on the same like brown brush that I used and I'm just gonna go right in between those colors that way they blend a little bit more seamlessly because I feel like it was like not blending but, like bam already the biggest difference. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut out my crease using some Vaseline and then um, I'm gonna catch this eye up and then we can come back and continue. Okay, so um, I did this eye. I've actually gained a lot of new 
like subscribers so i wanted to show you guys kind of um how i achieve such like a clean cut crease so i'm gonna take some vaseline and then i'm gonna take this um simply simon number 10 brush i also like to use this makeup shack t37 so um if i'm looking for like a very round cut crease i just kind of stamp it on with this big round brush um today i kind of want to go more like slant angled so that's why i'm going to use this brush because that way i could just kind of go like this so i'm just gonna take the vaseline and i'm gonna cut out my crease where i want to place it and you do not need a lot either a little bit of the vaseline goes a really long way so for me personally, I want to make sure that it's like right where my lid creases. Otherwise, the shadow will transfer. So um, I don't really have like hooded eyes, but I definitely have like deep set lids right here. And then now I'm going to try to match the other side. Oh, I also see this girl on TikTok who she straight just took like my cellar water on her brush and just cleaned it directly off. So if you're lazy, that actually might be the way to go. I personally don't mind taking my time to do this. So now I'm going to take a Q-tip and you could use my cellar water. I'm personally just going to lick it. Just a wet Q-tip. Not soaking wet, but like wet enough to like wipe your product off. And then I'm literally just going to clean off all of the Vaseline. So now I'm going to take my P. Louise Chris Finish base, and this is in the shade Tangy Tees. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to lay this right down. Um, and I'm just going to be using this uh, Mitchell and P. Louise Acid Rain Brush. this peach match this peach so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a packing brush so just like this and I'm gonna take the shade begonia which is this peach shade and I'm gonna pack it down all over this base I'm also not going to take it all the way in the front so that way I can put like a highlighter and it'll look really really bright. So I'm going to take a little bit of the black now and I'm just going to very lightly go over the back of this. Not even really taking it onto like the cut crease, just that. I'm going to dust that brush off then I'm going to take the shade Daylilies which is the brown. And I'm going to bring that in just a little bit. Do that on both sides. Then I'm going to take the shade Tropical Biscuits, which is the shade that I used like to blend the peach into the brown. And I'm going to pop that right there. So just like that. And then I'm going to go in. Back in with the shade Daylilies, which is the brown. I'm just going to make sure that these, like, seamlessly blend into each other. So, somebody wanted to see more of the Kima Cosmetic Flakes in action. So, I'm actually going to take these, like, orangey peach ones. These are called Tricky. Um, so, I am going to put those right over my lid. So, I'm going to take about a pinch of these. And then I also did purchase her little mixing medium so i'm going to do a pinch of these and i'm going to put two drops of a mixing medium mix it up and i'm going to apply it onto my lids okay so i mixed it up for like a long time so that way it could really dissolve and i'm just going to be careful and paint it on you can see why this shade is called tricky Okay, 
Let me, let me do the other eyeball. Okay, so this is what it looks like painted on. It looks so cool. I'm just kind of letting it dry before I like open my lids because I don't want to like crease them or anything. I was wanting to do some brown liner. So I'm going to take my Made by Mitchell Graphic Ink Liner in the shade Brownie Points. And then I'm just going to do like a little like half wing moment. You could see the flakes under my liner. It's fine because the lashes will cover it. And now I know, don't do that. <laughs> Definitely don't layer, you know. Next time I'd have to do the wing and then make sure that I do the flakes like around it. Then I want to take the shade, this shiny shimmer shade, which is called Selendula. Selendula. Calendula. Fucking A, I am stupid. I have no idea how to pronounce any of these names, but I'm gonna take this peachy shade. I'm gonna take it on a really tiny detail brush. And we're gonna put this right in the inner corner. I don't really have any new like face products to play around with or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my base makeup and then we can come back and do under the eyes. Um, but I think we're just gonna really keep this look focused on the eye makeup since it's so like star of the show you know what i mean um but i'll leave the products that i used in the description box okay so i just finished up my face makeup i was trying to go really pg with everything like the blush and all that stuff i think it looks really really good so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the same like flat brush that i used to pack the shade off and i'm gonna clean it off that did not make any sense so I'm going to take the same brush that I used to pack that um, begonia shade onto my lid. But I'm going to make sure that I like wipe it off. And then I'm going to go in with the shade. I'm going to go in with the shade Daylilies. So that's the brown shade. And I'm going to just smoke this out under my eye. And then I'm going to take a flat brush. This one is a Doll Beauty uh, DB8 brush. And then I'll take the shade Black Hyacinth. God, I really wish that I wasn't so stupid. <laughs> and then I'm just going to kind of keep it above that really close to my waterline right over my lashes. Then I'll take the shade Begonia. And I'll go right under all of it. Then I'm going to take the big fluffy brush that I use to like clean up. And I'm going to put that shade Begonia on it. And I'm just going to, honestly, we're going to just go all out with it. like that you know i like that so you could really see the difference between like this side and this side okay so here is the completed look my lip combo oh so my lashes these are the secret vision boutique lashes in the style bichota no let me see right there and then my lip combo, I went in with the LA Colors Lip Pencil in Chocolate. And then I went in with the Hank and Henry. This is the Satin Matte Lipstick in Te Quiero. So she looks like this. A very beautiful, beautiful, like, rosy, peachy color. And then I went in with the uh, Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Lemonade uh, Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. You know, gotta keep it. Gotta keep the peachy going around here is the completed look i'm actually really really um happy with how everything came out i don't usually do like peachy tones like this so i am living look how just shiny my lids are like the gods could see me from here 
So I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on the Ace Beauty uh, Floral Vintage Palette. So obviously I, I did not play with too many of the colors today, but the colors that I did play with, I was very, very pleased with how they performed. Um, I do want to do a few more um, tutorials with this palette so we could definitely see how all of the other colors perform. There's some purples in here, there's some greens in here, um, and then the shimmers as well. Um, as far as the Ace Beauty Floral Vintage Palette goes, I am really happy with how it performed. I did not have any issues as far as blending goes, um, no patchiness or anything like that. I think everything performed beautifully. I do still want to play with it some more because I did not play with as many colors as, um, like to get like a full review. You know, I didn't really play with as many colors as I usually would, so I do want to play with that. I do want to play around with it again to really get a good idea of the rest of the formula of this palette. Um, like I said, um, if they if they still have any of these palettes in stock, I'll be sure to leave a link down below for you guys to get your hands on it. Because just the packaging, girl. Ace Beauty knows their packaging. Like, it's stunning. So, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content. And without further ado, oh, I got lipstick in my teeth. Without further ado, we're going to go right on ahead, roll the clip. <laughs>